Hello and welcome to another episode of Box Trick, where today we are counting down the top 10 Super Nintendo games of all time. Kicking off our list is a game that shows that we are now playing with superpower. Making use of the new Mode 7 graphics, F-Zero changed the way we look at racing games. Tight controls allow you to speed around corners, slam into opponents, and avoid deadly obstacles, and add in a rocking soundtrack to make this one of the system's best racing games. Taking an already great formula from the PC and porting it over to the SNES, SimCity gives you the freedom to design a town however you want. This version of the game also adds in real-life scenarios based on real cities, and some Nintendo flair with Bowser as a Godzilla-like disaster. While it may not be as complex as some later games in the SimCity series, it gives you an almost infinite amount of gameplay on the Super Nintendo. Making use of the Super FX chip, Star Fox provided visuals you could only dream of at the time on a home console. It introduced us to Fox McCloud and the gang, has one of the coolest openings in any 16-bit game, and with three different level paths, provides plenty of replay value. Pick any version of the game you want, Street Fighter 2, Super Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, and the list could go on, but regardless of which version you are playing, you can make the argument that it isn't just the best fighting game on the Super Nintendo, but the most important fighting game ever made. Street Fighter 2 sets the bar for every fighting game to ever come out after it, and the best part is, now you don't have to sink all those quarters into an arcade machine. Widely considered by many to be the greatest beat-em-up ever made, Turtles in Time is an absolute must-own for the Super Nintendo. The tried-and-true formula of four turtles with different abilities, kicking foot clan butt, works once again, and in this version of the game is actually better than the arcade, with extra levels, the ability to throw enemies at the screen, and one of the best Super Nintendo soundtracks. This game has plenty of turtle power. There are so many great SNES RPGs that we'll have to do a list completely dedicated to those. But if you want the absolute best RPG on the Super Nintendo, look no further than Chrono Trigger. Square's 1995 masterpiece has you traveling through time, meeting one of the most dynamic cast of party members, and has 13 endings. When the team at Nintendo sat down to make Super Mario Kart, they didn't just make a great game, they made an entire new genre. Super Mario Kart sets the stage for what would become one of the best-selling franchises of games on every Nintendo system to come. There are thousands, if not millions of people who buy a Nintendo system simply for Mario Kart, and it all starts right here. There are plenty of games that simply add the word Super to the title on the SNES, but none are more deserving than that of Super Metroid. It doesn't just take elements from the first two games, it perfects them. The game's eerie atmosphere, countless secrets, and beautiful sprites that still hold well today make Super Metroid a staple on the SNES and a true classic. It's one thing to be one of the best SNES games, it's another to be one of the best Zelda games. A series which is consistently changing the entire video game landscape. Reverting back to the top-down gameplay of the original, A Link to the Past gives players the freedom to explore Hyrule and the Dark World. Adding a rich and deep story makes the adventure that much bigger. Before we reveal our top game, let's take a look at some honorable mentions. Thank you. 
Super Mario World is the reason people bought an SNES, plain and simple. The addition of the cape, storable items, mid-level checkpoints, hidden blocks, ghost houses, and most importantly Yoshi, add so much depth to the Mario formula. Add in some of the best SNES visuals and soundtrack that still hold up perfectly today, and you have the best Super Nintendo game of all time. If you like this episode, be sure to hit that subscribe button or check out our podcast on iTunes or come hang out on Twitch. We'll see you next time. And as always, thanks for watching.